be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord, trusting the Lord to bless you. Amazing worship. Uh, God is uh, good all the time. And he's amazing. He's awesome. He's a God who is more than good. He's, he's, he's good from beginning to the end. Heavenly Father, we worship, we praise, we adore you this morning. Celebrate and make great your name. We thank you. From the rising of the sun to the going down of it, your name shall be great. You are here for, and you are about to bless your people. You are about to stretch your hand to heal, to deliver, to set free. Lord, let your name be glorified. Let your name be magnified. Let your hand be stretched. Let Satan be defeated. Let victory belong to your people. Let testimony belong to your people. We thank you. You will exceed our expectation. To the glory of your name, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Welcome one more time to Morning Glow, trust in the Lord that you will be blessed. <clears throat> you will be favored, the hand of the Lord will touch you, and you will have reasons to magnify the Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, one of our service providers has struggles with internet. We're working with them as much as possible. We think it will all be resolved by Max. Today, uh, they had a damage to some of the equipment. <clears throat> but even if it, if it froze, just keep praying in the language of the Holy Spirit. We'll keep reconnecting. And uh, it's better to have a great time in the presence of the Lord and be blessed by Him. <clears throat> glory, glory, glory to God Almighty. I'd like to welcome everyone from the four corners of the earth joining us this morning. We would like to believe God that you will truly be blessed by him. And you will be impacted by him and you will have reasons to glorify the Lord. For those of you who are just joining us, who may have not been with us when we started praying the hand of God, we have been praying the hand of the Lord. Well, I'd like to celebrate you first, appreciate you. South Africa, you're welcome this morning in the name of Jesus. I'd like to welcome people from various parts, wherever you are. Um, Mitchum in London, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Pretoria, South Africa, God bless you richly in the name of Jesus. Uh, Abuja, Nigeria, God bless you. Another Pretoria, South Africa. Uh, God bless you. Belvedere in uh, Kent. God bless you. Hayes in Middlesex. God bless you. Sierra Leone. God bless you. Uh, Fairham in Hampshire. God bless you. Birmingham. God bless you. Uh, um, praise the Lord. Pitsy in Essex. God bless you richly. God really richly bless you in Jesus' name. Edinburgh in Scotland, God bless you. Nottinghamshire, be blessed and highly favored in the name of Jesus. Middlesbrough, God bless. Lee in South East London, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Didcot in Oxfordshire, God bless richly. Hilversum in the Netherlands, be blessed and highly favored this morning. Be encouraged. God is about to do awesome things. His outstretched hand is about to take care of what you cannot take care of. Gothenburg, I think that must be Gothenburg. It's in Sweden, I think. God bless you richly. Victoria Garden City, Lagos, God bless. Sidcup, Kent, God bless. Akure, Nigeria, God bless you. Um, praise God, praise God, praise God. From all over the world, people are with us today. And uh, please be reminded that we will be doing, we'll be starting KICC Community Global so that we are connected beyond the morning glow for other services in the name of Jesus. 
Paris, in France, God bless. Shajar, the Emirate of Shajar, which is part of the United Arab Emirates. The Lord bless you richly this morning. Northampton, United Kingdom. Be blessed and highly favored. So glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Uh, Seaford, Delaware. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Seaford, Delaware. God bless you. Wari, Nigeria. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Uh, I do hope these people on the Instagram are not having a struggle. My own Instagram is blessed and highly favored this morning. Um, wow, the city of Kano, Nigeria. Be blessed and highly favored. Lived there for six months from June to December 1966. That's a long time. Wow, 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 wow. Praise the Lord. Uh, New Jersey, in the United States, be blessed and highly favored. Nijmegen in Netherlands, been there to minister. Nijmegen in the Netherlands, have a son in ministry, Pastor Julius. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise the Lord. Well, as long as your own uh, Instagram is working well, it's my own that is dramatic. That's fine then. Praise God. So be blessed, be highly favored today. Um, Oppington in Kent, God bless you. We say God bless you to everyone. Middlesbrough, God bless you. If we didn't acknowledge the town, the city where you're from, just know we celebrate you, we appreciate you. May you be blessed this morning. I may the hand of the Lord really, really touch you. Lusaka, Zambia, God bless you richly in the name of Jesus. Reko Tayabala Shaka. But those who are joining us, like I said, we have been praying the hand of God. I tell you, this is one of the greatest revelations. And if I were you, every scripture that we have been sharing on the hand of God, you need to have it. And during your own personal time, to learn how to pray uh, the hand of God into your life in an awesome way in the name of Jesus. The hand of God is mighty. Those mighty things according to scriptures. The hand of God is mighty. The hand of God, not only is it mighty, the hand of God is uh, deadly and dangerous against your enemies. When the enemy comes like a flood, the hand raised, the, God, the Lord raises his hand. Children of, I mean, the Philistines came, carried away the ark of the Lord, and they regretted it because the Bible says, First uh, Samuel, I believe, chapter 6, uh, uh, but the hand of the Lord was heavy upon the, verse 6, upon them of Ashdod, and he destroyed them and smote them with emeralds, even Ashdod and the coast thereof. So the hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord is also uh, powerful because it empowers his servants. He empowers his servants by his hand. The Bible says the hand of the Lord, First Kings chapter 18, verses 44 to 46, the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah and he ran and outran horses. That is superhuman. That is supernatural. That is so the hand of God. Glory to God. Denmark, God bless you. This one, Oakland, California. Be blessed and highly favored. Place to London, be blessed. So may the hand of the Lord come upon you in this season and God's hand to turn things around. The hand of the Lord is also a hand of discipline. He brings out his hand to discipline his children. Psalm 38 verse 1 to 3. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrows take fast in me and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger. Neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head. 
as an heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. So when we do not obey the Lord, <laughs> once in a while, God's hand comes to correct his children. God's hand comes to bring discipline. Discipline. This Psalm 32 from verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Verse 5, I acknowledge my sin unto thee and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord and thou forgivest the iniquity of my sin. So we see here that the hand of God comes upon even his own children to correct, to discipline. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. The staff is for direction, but the rod is for correction. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. If you think because you are born again, you are a child of God, the Lord will not correct you. Nobody preached that gospel to you. The Bible is very clear. God corrects his people. He disciplines his people. And I tell you, uh, why? you know, God is like a natural uh, parent. I mean, my, my father, I know that if somebody messes with you, he'll go any length to, to mess with that person. But when he wants to discipline you, his discipline is more than what they did to you. What they did to you. I have very faint remembrance. Maybe one day I'll ask my brother, he remembers some, some things. I have this faint remembrance that in 1963, somebody may have either pushed me or did something in the house where we lived on a street called Benin Street in Kaduna, Nigeria. And I probably was bleeding. Oh, my father just took the matter to the police station. I still remember, I still have this faint remembrance. 1963 is a long time, man, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was like uh, 11. I was 11. My father took it seriously. But when my father wants to discipline you, you will see the stars and hear the rolling thunder, his power throughout your body display. <laughs> That's exactly like God. He will fight anyone who touches his children. He will mess with those persons. He can tear down their house. You mess with the child of Jehovah. Whoever touches you and <laughs> puts his hand in the eyes of Jehovah. You know, that is what the Bible says there. When the Bible says touches the apple of God's eye. One translation says he pokes his hand in the eye of Jehovah. Yeesh. Oh, you see, when Jehovah wants to discipline his own children, look at David. When David go, went and took a census, when he did it out of arrogance, uh, God said to him, I'm going to discipline you. Choose one of the ways I should punish you. <laughs> and God gave him three impossible ways. And, the most, and David said, God, I'd rather fall into your hand. You choose the one you want to do. I'm ready. He's holding his head. God truly stretches his hand to discipline. But this morning, you didn't come to the morning glow just for that. You came also to know that his hand, next, his hand can be a hand that brings uncommon turnaround and change to your life. But please always remember, his hand disciplines his people. The hand of the Lord will help his people always. Always the hand of the Lord will help his people. So this morning, please get ready. Uh, you are going to see his hand in the name of Jesus. I love, you know, I love the way help is translated in my language. It means a hand that helps you. You know, when the Bible says, a present help in the time of need. In my, in my Bible, in the, in the Bible, in my language, it says, 
a hand that is always present to help you, to, to carry you in the time of trouble. That's how the hand of the Lord is. He helps those who trust in him, who rely on him at all times. Acts chapter 11 from verse 19 to 21. In the name of Jesus, you will be helped. Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phoenix, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which when they were come to Antioch, to speak, they spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned unto the Lord. I don't know about you. I am going through certain seasons where I'm really crying to God for some things. Spain and Valencia, be blessed. And I am believing that the hand of the Lord will be stretched to do more than the things I expect. I'm going to testify. I've seen greatness. I've seen his hand. I've seen his blessing. But I'm saying to you this morning, much more than we have ever seen. Get ready. The hand of the Lord is surely with the believers. His hand directs. His hand heals. His hand delivers. His hand makes way. His hand proves himself strong. His hand goes ahead to silence the enemy. And that is going to be your tell testimony. In the middle of the worst trial in the days of the apostles. Maybe you don't know what happened. The apostolic church, as we call the church from 33 AD to 100. Yeah, was the most persecuted. They were preaching something that contradicted a whole empire. That Jesus is Lord. Not the emperor. Age. And the emperor was a final. He didn't need a court. And so they were looking for Christians to skin them alive. To burn them alive. They just, I mean. That's why if you go to the city of Rome. You find the catacombs. Underground places where Christians worshipped. Where Christians worshipped. But in the midst of it. The hand of the Lord was stretched. I am believing God for somebody in every trial and hardship that you may be going through. The hand of the Lord will strengthen you. I love the way it is rendered in Hebrews 13.5. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Wow. I will never, never leave you nor forsake you. I have a shakaya rabba shakaya. Paul the Apostle experienced this persecution. Acts 23, 11. He said that night the Lord stood by him and said, Be of good cheer, Paul, for you have testified for me in, in, in Jerusalem, so you also must be a witness at Rome. Glory to God. You will be a witness at Rome. So don't worry. I declare and decree this morning that somebody is going to enjoy the hand of the Lord for victory. A testimony to come out of the pressure, the pain, the battle, the circumstances in which you have found yourself. And you are going to erect stones of testimony. Stones of testimony. Joshua 4 verse 20 to 24. And those 12 stones which they took out of, jo of the Jordan did Joshua pitch in Gilgal. And he spoke unto the children of Israel, saying, When your children shall ask their fathers in time to come, saying, What means these stones? Then you shall let your children know, saying, Israel came over this Jordan on dry land. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of Jordan from before you until they were passed over. As the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which he dried up from before us until we were gone over. That all the people of the earth may know the hand of the Lord, that it is mighty. That you might fear the Lord your God forever. Hallelujah. 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 Rekapaye kaledesha. Zabaro tane taleba koshenea benento lorosa. The hand of the Lord is mighty. The hand of the Lord is awesome. The hand of the Lord is glorious. The hand of the Lord does great things. 
the hand of the Lord silences the enemy, the hand of the Lord establishes his purpose in your life. The hand of the Lord goes against the hand of the enemy. The hand of the Lord satisfies his people. Father, we give you glory this morning. We praise you. We magnify you. We thank you because your hand is awesome. Your hand is glorious. Your hand heals. Your hand delivers. We bring the glory to you. We bring the praise to you. We bring the adoration to you. We bring the testimony to you. You are our God, our Savior. You are our Lord. We thank you for what you've done and what you are doing. We bless your name at all times. Be glorified. Be magnified. Psalm 145, 16, you open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. Father, we give you praise for your sons, daughters on this platform, for people connected to Morning Glow and beyond, for KRCC. We thank you for opening your hand and satisfying the desires of every living thing. Take the glory. Take the praise. Neyaraboshe iradakosha. We thank you for opening your hand to bless us, to heal, to deliver. We look around us, we see the evidence that you are working. Take the glory. Psalm 104 verse 28. Psalm 104 verse 28. You give to them, they gather it up. You open your hand, they are satisfied with good. You give to them, they gather it up. You open your hand, they are satisfied with good. That's why the Bible says, no good thing with God withhold from them that trust in him. Lord, we thank you. The things we have, you give to, the, to us. Our family, you give to us. Our blessings, you give to us. Life, you give to us. We can't be more than one. We can't be more than a few minutes without breathing. The oxygen around us, we can't see it, but it keeps us alive. We thank you. I was inside the pool yesterday. It's hot where I am. 34 degrees. Can't hold more than one minute. Can't hold my breath more than one minute underwater while swimming. Well, some people do more than that. But nobody can do long. We need just air. And you can, you know, air has, we don't, it has no manifestation. When you see something moving, it's only when it shakes that thing. You can't see the air. He gave us life. Oh, we give you glory this morning. We praise you this morning. We magnify you this morning. Take the honor. Take the glory. Nayabosha, the God of all gods, the awesome God. The one whose hand heals, the one whose hand delivers. Habakkuk 3 4. He's oh, I love. <laughs> Habakkuk 3 4. I love the way it starts. His radiance is like the sunlight. Uh, Andre Crouch took this statement and turned it to a song, and he called the, our God. He said, He's brighter than the noonday sun. The God who is brighter. Than the noonday sun. Have you ever seen the noonday sun when it is hot, hot, hot? If you stand in, in the noonday sun, your shadows disappear. He's brighter than the noonday sun. He has rays flashing from his hand. There is the and there is the hiding of his power. He has rays flashing from his hand, and there is the hiding of his power. He has rays flashing from his hand that hand that is flashing power is about to touch your life touch your body touch your destiny listen if you were with us in morning and evening uh bible study yesterday you know that to enter and possess what god wants for you you've got to provoke glory and to provoke glory you got to know how to worship and magnify him magnify him so habakkuk 3 4 says his radiance is like the sunlight 
He has rays flashing from his hand, and there is and there is the hiding of his power. Idaya Tosheka Kabara Tayede Dorosa Ayereda Basha Talera the God whom we serve, the healer, the deliverer, our God, our Savior, our joy, our our the one we can rely on, the one who does not put to shame, the one whom when it seems as if it's over, he gives us a new beginning. The one who opens doors when people say the door is shut. The one who when people are looking at us and feeling sorry, you say, ah, you have done so too early. I'm about to bless this man. I'm about to bless this woman. I'm about to change her story. I'm about to change their story. Take glory. Take honor. Take praise. Take adoration. We glorify you. We magnify you. We celebrate you in the name of Jesus. First Chronicles 29 verse. First Chronicles 29 verse 12. First Chronicles 29 verse 12. Both riches and honor come from you. And you rule over all. And in your hand is power and might. And it lies in your hand. And it lies in your hand to make great. And to strengthen everyone. And it lies in your hand to make somebody on this platform great. And to strengthen them. I love to, I like to read this First Chronicles 29. Verse 12 again, I believe this was the worship of Solomon when God hit that temple with his glory. After Solomon finished, he said, both riches and honor come from you. You rule over all and in your hand is power and might. In his hand is power and might. The hand of power, the hand of might. And it lies in your hand to make great and to strengthen everyone. Jesus, we magnify you. Father, we glorify you. It is in your hand that there is power and there is might. To heal, to deliver, to set free, to, to make, to come to pass the purpose you have for your children. And it lies in your hand to make great and to strengthen everyone. Destiny ordering God. 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 Be glorified. Be honored. Be adored. Be magnified. Leshika Yedasa, in the name of Jesus. Psalm 118, verse 15 and 16. Psalm 118, verse 15 and 16. The sound of joyful shouting and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. Why? The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. You know what that means? Valiantly, it means like a military warrior who is just picking his enemies like pieces of paper valiantly like a general who is at war and the enemy have even heard and before he shows up they are already dead the hand of the lord does valiantly the right hand of the lord is exalted the right hand of the lord does valiantly if you didn't remember any of this hand of god scripture just remember psalm 118 verse 15 and 16 three times the right hand of the lord is mentioned in two verses three times that's heavy witness the law of double witness the sound of joyful shouting and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. Why? Why is there a shout of salvation, healing, breakthrough, testimony? The right hand of the Lord is doing a valiant job this morning. It is setting free as we are magnifying the Lord. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. And when it is exalted, listen, 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 wherever you are around the world. Every time you come to this platform, we don't, we don't pray against demonic entities looking up to them. We look down at them. Every satanic power is under you. Never forget that. You are raised with Christ far above principalities and powers. Because the Bible says Christ has been raised far above principalities and power. And then the Bible says you are his body. So some of us are his eyes. We are seers. Some of us are his ears. We are hearers. Some of us are his hands. 
So God have raised you far above principality. So this morning, the right hand of the Lord is crushing every walk of the enemy, every lie of hell, every machination of hell in the name of Jesus. The right hand of the Lord is exalted and the right hand of the Lord is doing some valiant, amazing door opening, Satan defeating, lie shattering in the name of Jesus, miracles. Glory to God. Oh, by Yahya, he carabo shekaya, he caroso kayadabo se tetele carados, retaye nosha, zika parota. We magnify you this morning because your hand is at work. Your hand is healing, your hand is delivering, your hand is saving, your hand is bringing out people from tough places, bringing out your people out of challenging places. Bringing out your people out of hell, out of lies. We bless you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We glorify you. We magnify you. In Jesus' name. This morning. On the hand of the Lord, let's first start by crushing anything that have defied God in your life. That matter that says it's not going to move. We're going to crush it. Crush it. Crush it. Crush it. First Samuel chapter 5 from verse 6 to 9. The hand of the Lord was heavy against the people of Ashdod. And he terrified <laughs> and afflicted them with tumors, both Ashdod and its territory. And, the, and when the men of Ashdod saw how things were, they said, the ark of the God of Israel must not remain with us, for his hand is hard against us and against Dagon our God. So they sent and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines and said, what shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? They answered, let the ark of the God of Israel be brought around to God. So they brought the ark of the God of Israel there. But after they had brought it around, the hand of the Lord was against that same city also, causing a very great panic. He afflicted the men of Gath, both young and old, so that tumors broke out. Oh, I love this. I love this. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. The hand of the Lord is against anything that have decided to be persistent in your life. Financial delays we crush. Satanic delays we crush. Delays on your promotion we crush. Lies from the pit of hell we crush. Arrows of darkness we crush. Arrows directed at your life we crush. Maeda, take obazo. Father, let your hand rise. Let your hand rise. Let your hand rise. Let your hand rise. Against everything that denies your people their peace, let your hand rise. Against everything that steals their joy, let your hand rise. Against everything that fights their life, let your hand rise. Against everything that have crumbled, the things they have built, let your hand rise. Let the enemy know that they have tampered with a woman of God, a man of God, a child of God, a family of God. Makapa romakese matosia ritola mekoshedita limare tosikia. This day the Lord will fight your fight. The Lord will win your battle. The Lord will fight your fight. The Lord will win your battle. Eramasha, Nika Pako Sayadi, Hika Ta 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 Rosi, Nisaya Kaya Taya Narosha, Nika Pako Toshe Karada, Rikota Kapara. This day the Lord will do the things which no man can question. And when God came on Ashdod and on God, they got scared. They got scared. 
they got we need this level of jehovah manifestation in our times in ours in our post-christian church unfriendly arrogant demonic satan controlled 21st century nice corporate suit but demon behind them kind of generation we need to see this kind of move of god and so this day i declare to your life god will do a work which people will say how did this happen daniel chapter 4 verse 35 daniel, cha daniel chapter 4 verse 35 all the inhabitants of the earth are accounted as nothing for he does according to his will in the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of earth and no one can word of his hand and say to him what have you done may the hand of the lord that cannot be stopped that cannot be warded off that cannot be questioned be stretched for you in this season stretched for you in this season stretched for your healing stretched for your deliverance stretched for your favor stretched for your breakthrough stretched for your joy stretched for the healing stretched for deliverance stretched for joy stretched for breakthrough stretched for testimony stretched for a turnaround in the name of jesus in the name of jesus may you in this season of your life experience that mighty hand of god the 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 mighty hand of god nisha kaparosi rita koso naibalisha lika paro may the hand of the lord turn things around for your good turn things around for your favor turn things around for your blessing neka pojo keze rando shikaye ralo sekaya bande rikosoka ye talaman brodo zayika yaba eka paro shikaya ba may the hand of the lord bless you this morning in jesus name I'm going to pray for the healing and restoration of things in your hand by the hand of the Lord this morning, that God will restore your peace, restore your joy, restore the things you've lost, restore your favors, things the enemy has stolen, restore it. Lamentation chapter 2 verse 3. Lamentation chapter 2 verse 3. And if you know Jeremiah, every time I listen to Jeremiah, I say, here we, here we go again. The guy is no joke. But when the Lord takes over to begin to speak peace, you know something has shifted. Lamentation 2 3. Lamentation was written by Jeremiah in fierce anger. He has cut off all the strength of Israel. He has drawn back his right hand from before the enemy. He has burned in Jacob like a flaming fire consuming round about in his fierce anger. But this morning we come before the Lord. We're saying, Father, in any which way we have provoked your anger. Do not let your hand be against us. Let your hand bless. Let your hand deliver. Let your hand bless. Let your hand deliver. Let your hand bless. Let your hand bless. Let your hand bless. Let your hand deliver. Let your hand bless. Let your hand deliver. Let your hand bless. Let your hand deliver in the name of Jesus. We're also going to pray Ezekiel chapter 6, verse 14. Some people have made your life desolate. They've made your business desolate. They have emptied you. They're not going free. The hand of the Lord will be against them. They're not going free. Anyone who having one stroke because they didn't like your color, sacked, denied you things, expressed their prejudice, played God, you know reports came out some people played god during this coronavirus choosing who to live and who to die in the giving of the whatever they call the, the para, paraphernalia with which people survive from oxygen ezekiel 6 14 so throughout all their inhabitants i will stretch out my hand against them and make the land more desolate and waste than the wilderness toward Dibla. Thus they will know that I am the Lord. Everyone that have touched your household, your family unjustly, 
The hand of the Lord will be against them. Against them. God will fight them and give you your testimony, your victory. God will fight them and give them He'll give you your testimony and your victory. The hand of the Lord will go ahead of you, stretched. It will be it will prove mighty in your life. Kapir Nashtia. Ziara no shika tekoso na yene taliba. Everyone, everything, every demonic spirit, demonic places they've taken your name to, every idolatrous place where they've taken your name to, where they've done effigies of you, where they put pictures, where they've used esoteric means, it shall blow in their face in the name of Jesus. Zephaniah 1 4. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 4. So I will stretch out my hand against Judah, against the inhabitants of Jerusalem. I'll cut off the remnants of Baal from this place and the names of the idolatrous priests along with the priests. Everyone who have used esoteric means anywhere, anytime, they called your name, they leaked something, they said something concerning your son, your daughter, your life, your destiny. Ah, the blood is against them. Every idolatrous priest who was used by these people to attack you, we release the hand of the Lord against them, the hand of judgment, the hand of the Lord to fight them, to silence them, God to give you victory in a way you've never seen, never heard, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we bring the hand of judgment, the hand of the Lord. You see, this same hand that blesses is the same hand that can bring judgment. This day we bring it as a judgment against everyone who has opposed the house of God, the people of God, the children of God. Acts 13 verse 11. Acts 13 verse 11. Acts 13 verse 11. Now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you. And you will be blind and not see the sun for a time. And immediately a mist and darkness fell upon him. And he went about seeking those who will lead him by the hand. This was Elimas, the, the witch doctor, who had the control of the consul of the city. He had control of the mayor of the city. And wanted to be pushing that one to oppose the word of God. And then he now came to the man of God and was trying to buy the anointing. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Paul got angry. I said, the Lord rebuke you. Be blind for a season. The hand of the Lord will come against you. This morning, anywhere, 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 anybody who have raised their hand against your household, your family, your destiny, your work, the hand of the Lord is against them. God fights your fight. God wins for you. Rika Padusha, Nika Barita, Ikosoka Palo, Male, Makaye Kosokaye Kayeraba Kotonadi Kabarana Kazai, Rito Sarapa Rosho Kayaraba, Yikata Kosoka Pande Reto Lekadia, Rato Sokaba Barosha. There are some people, they sit down, they just are planning how to hurt you, how to hurt the church of Jesus Christ. We bring the hand of the Lord against them this morning. Psalm 75, verse 8. Psalm 75, verse 8. For a cup is in the hand of the Lord, and the wine is foaming. It is well mixed, and it pours out of this. Surely all the wicked of the earth must drain and drink down its dregs. We release the cup of the hand in the hand of the Lord against these people. They will drink the wine of his judgment. Anything, anywhere that I've taught your life on the contrary. Eh? And he said, I will become, I will bless them that bless you, curse them that curse you. Anything that I've cursed you is cursed. Anything that I've blessed you is blessed. Anyone who have blessed you, they are blessed. The hand of the Lord comes against everything that's contrary to your peace. Contrary to your peace. One more judgment scripture. Isaiah 51, 17. Isaiah 51, 17. Rouse yourself. Rouse yourself. Arise, O Jerusalem, you who have drunk from the Lord's hand the cup of his anger, the chalice 
of reeling you have drained to the dregs this day again we bring the judgment hand of god against sickness disease because there are also enemies of your life that are not natural but the weapons of our warfare also are not natural we bring the hand of the Lord against sickness, against poverty, against limitation, 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 against, against stagnancy of life. We release you from their grip. We set you free this day. We set you free this day. Likapa rotayena rikosoka maloshekare kaporosote. I come against disgrace. I come against disappointment. I come against delays. I come against limitations. I come against stagnancy. I release you from their hand in the name of Jesus. Habakkuk 2.16, you will be filled with disgrace rather than honor. Everything that comes against you. Now, you yourself drink and expose your own nakedness. The cup in the Lord's right hand will come around to you and utter disgrace will come upon your glory. Every glory that poverty had gloried over you is stopped from today. The lack have gloried over you, it stops from today. Every glory and joy that sickness have had over you and your family, it is canceled from today. Testimony follows you, glory follows you. Ayetakabo. Neyera bo shukaye tali boro se kayara rita tali koso tata darata koso kayeba rita pa no sundiata in jesus name and if there's anyone on this altar because of something in your past a mistake a step you took that seems as if the hand of the lord is against you we cry to the Lord this day in repentance. We deliver you. We deliver you. We bring you out. We deliver you. We bring you out. We deliver you. We bring you out. Where it seems the hand of the Lord is against your family. Things are not working. Mistakes every day. We deliver you. We bring you out. Mother-in-law of Ruth cried out. Ruth chapter 1 verse 13. Would you therefore wait until they were grown? Would you therefore refrain from marrying? No, my daughters, for it is harder for me than for you. For the hand of the Lord has gone forth against me. Of course, this woman buried three men, her husband and two sons. So she, had, she believed that the hand of the Lord was against her. Maybe they made a move to come here when they shouldn't have come. Maybe she was the one who pushed and pushed her husband. Some women pushed their husband not to listen to God, but to listen to their own affairs until she pushed them to where God didn't send them. Today, Lord, on behalf of anyone at this altar who may have taken a step, gone to places you didn't lead them, they've ended in stagnancy, limitation, delays, we bring them out. We repent on their behalf. We repent on their behalf. We speak their victory. They are coming out of this limited life into fullness, into joy, into fullness, into joy. Into fullness, into joy. Nishayasi, ziyarebosa, ikapalo, makaye taye bokosha, ikapalo roche talara, itaye kapata tatala, ikapa rekoso kaye kaparata de kareba kozoye. One more prayer concerning this. Sometimes the hand of the Lord have touched to discipline, to punish. So this morning, anyone on this altar whom the hand of the Lord have brought to a place of hurt and pain because of something, we ask the Lord, Father, forgive, peace, healing, peace, healing. In Job 1.11, Satan himself said, put, your, put forth your hand now and touch all that he has. He will surely curse you to your face. Lord, if there's anyone whom you have touched in a way that brings judgment, we ask we repent. We ask your forgiveness. Turn things around for good from this morning. From this morning. Good news. Good news. Good news. Matters that relate to us, let them bring good news. Yaba yonaka dinoshita binoreke soyeba. Hisaye pokostaye tali rona rebo kose kayaba. Roka pakasataye kayenama. In Jesus' name. If there's anyone at this altar who experiences a who is experiencing some kind of plague or position, let the hand of the Lord deliver them. Let the hand of the Lord deliver them. Psalm 39 verse 10, remove your plague from me because of the opposition of your hand. 
I am perishing. Lord, we pray. We cry to you this morning. Deliverance, healing, salvation, breaking forth, turning it around for somebody, setting them free in the name of Jesus. Victory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, there will be testimony and there will be glory in Jesus' name. I want to pray this morning. Some people have things that are held up held up there has to be a release overseas things held up there has to be a release business is held up there has to be a release by the hand of god joy held up there has to be a release by the hand of god isaiah 23 11 he has stretched out his hand over the sea he has made kingdoms to tremble the Lord has given command concerning Canaan to demolish its strongholds. This day, the God who stretches his hand overseas, all matters that are having to do with you, home and abroad, God will take care of it. God will take care of it. All matters that are having to do with you, home and abroad, God will take care of it. Lika parabatush. Ikayaraba. Ikaya lo shekadabarasha. Neka pekoso yabash. Rika bababosha. Nerika in Jesus' name. And now, for everyone on this altar who is looking to the Lord for promotion, for elevation, for a degree of, of, of plenty, prosperity, we are about to pray for you. In this season of your life, the new doors will open. The affliction must be over. 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 Psalm 10 verse 12. Arise, O Lord. O oh God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the afflicted. Arise, O oh Lord. O oh God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the afflicted. Wherever you are this morning, let God arise. Let his hand be stretched. Let God arise. Let his hand be stretched. Let God arise. Let his hand be stretched. Ika badisha. Nita renedos. Maka peronashi. Zike tarimadosh. Rita baroneshikai. Let God arise. Let all afflictions come to an end. Promotion. Elevation. Prosperity that comes from the hand of the Lord. Receive. Receive. Received. Receive in the name of Jesus. Psalm 60 verse 5. Psalm 60 verse 5. That your beloved may be delivered. Save with your right hand and answer us. Save with your right hand and answer us. Anyone at this altar this one, the right hand of the Lord that does marvelously will save you, will deliver you, will save you, will deliver you, will save you, will deliver you, save you, deliver you. The right hand of the Lord will bring you out of that mess, out of the situation, out of the challenge. We release the hand of God to places you cannot go. Some people have had a field day holding you down, holding your property, holding what concerns you. We send the Holy Ghost after them this morning. Psalm 108 verse 6, that your beloved may be delivered. 
Rika kaparo shekaira. Lika malo shenisa. Save with your right hand and answer me. That your beloved may be delivered. That your de beloved may be delivered. Save with your right hand and answer me. Ikalabosha. Ikabirota ingaruzine kailaba. Ikoso ta lekaba. Somebody just sent me a text. I know there's even no name. But the grandson has cardiac arrest and is at Thomas Hospital, St. Thomas Hospital in London. Cardiac arrest. It happened just on Monday. Monday was two days ago. Lord, we lay the hand of faith on this boy. We release the peace of God that passes understanding. We declare healing, victory, total health. Whoever this is, we curse sickness and disease. Okay. I don't know how many of you were with me yesterday in, uh, in uh, Bible study. But I said I don't know who it is for. But I was impressed with Hosea 13, 14. And those of you who were with us in Bible study. It was very, very strong. I'm going to give this scripture to the grandmother or grandfather. I don't even know who it is. I don't know how they got my number, but the person sent me this text. So I'm going to read that scripture and believe that that boy will come out of that cardiac arrest. I will ransom them, Hosea 13, 14. I will ransom them from the power of hell. Ransom means to pay. I will redeem them from death. To redeem means to pay again. And Jesus already paid. O oh, death, where are your plagues? O oh, hell, where is your destruction? Lord, upon this scripture this morning, this text that just came in, we declare and decree total health and healing for that child. That grandson who has cardiac arrest, we speak victory, 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 victory. Kazuka iti shiti alabosha. Ika parono teka menuto niyadiya. Total absolute victory. That boy will not die but live to declare the glory of God. Will not die but live to declare the glory of God. Will not die but live to declare the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise. Testimony follows everyone at this altar today. And God proves himself as a mighty God on your behalf. As a mighty God in this season of your life. I close with one last scripture. One last scripture this morning. Psalm 138 verse 7. Psalm, I love it. Psalm 138 verse 7. I love this one. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of the enemies. And your right hand will save me. This has completed a prayer. <laughs> Even if I walk in the midst of trouble. On the left, on the right. The Lord will revive me. You will stretch your right hand against the anger, the wrath of the enemies. And your right hand will save me. This scripture goes with you today. And the rest of your life. Psalm 138 verse 7. No matter what comes upon the earth. No matter what you see with your eye. I declare and decree this morning. The right hand of the Lord will deliver you. The hand of the Lord will bring you out. If others don't make it. You will make it. You will survive. You will have a testimony. You will be a blessing. You will shake nations. You will make impact. You will shock kingdoms. You will shake nations. You will shock kingdoms. You will shake nations. You will shock kingdoms. You will shake nations. 
you will shock kingdoms. This is the word of the Lord for you. I read this scripture verse again. It's so beautiful and powerful. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies. And your right hand will save me. Lord, we give you praise. We thank you because our prayers are answered. Your right hand is, your hand is upon us for good for the rest of our life. Take the glory, take the praise, take the honor, take the adoration. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go into today with greatness. Go into today with victory. Go into today with testimony. Let the doors open for you. Let the favor flow. Ah, let them meet you with blessing. I don't know who it is, but I saw a see if all of you were holding glasses and they're pouring something that looks like the drink of celebration. Glory to God. And all of you are ready to celebrate for the breakthrough came, the favor came, the answer came, the testimony came. It was a good answer. It was a good testimony. Ratosiki ya makatona asiti ya noshiti ya laraba kusukari ya naba. Reta kusuka pika teka paroto suka italika marodosi. Thank you Jesus. It is done. 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 This is an interesting revelation I saw. I had or rather I hear. I hear a word from the Lord to somebody that hey, don't worry. They're trying to kill your cash cow, but they cannot, for I, the Lord, gave you, and it has not finished producing, whatever that means. God gave you a cash cow. It cannot be killed. It cannot be taken from you. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm sure you were blessed this morning. I'm sure the hand of the Lord touched in a powerful way to God be all the glory, all the praise, all the honor, all the adoration. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Make sure you take the time to serve the Lord with your tithe, your pledges, your giving, everything the Lord has blessed you with. Always learn to magnify God with what he has given to you. Again, close to the weekend when we'll have a great service, actual and virtual. It's going to be a blessing this week. It's going to be absolutely awesome. We have two messages on our hand that the Lord is blessing us with. 23 meaning of that word for it gives you the power to get wealth. It's a message of 12 noon service. The 9 a.m. service on Sunday is Solomon's Secrets of Achievement. So this weekend is going to be awesome. and You will be blessed in the two services. Tomorrow morning, we have communion. Make sure you get your bread and wine ready. Let's seal these declarations of the hand of God and the hand of the Lord, the hand of God, the hand of the Lord, the hand of God. We need to seal it. We need to seal it. Very key, very major, very key, very major, very key. For those of you who interested join us at the money master class it's going to be a very very unique one we brought two guys in the area of property akimo guniro took a property company that was small until it became publicly quoted updc which is part of one of africa's largest companies uac became publicly quoted he has since left to now start his own, which has exploded in his hand. He's also chairperson of several property-related institutions related to the government. Lagos State Building Corporation belonging to the state. He's a chairperson. He's into so many things. He's a lawyer. He used to lecture in law. His wife is still a professor of law. His wife is a professor of child and family law. He's just into business making millions <laughs> so he's going to be teaching i mean he's going to be sharing with like 30 40 minutes then i'm going to ask him questions my wow will also be sharing he's a 
So real estate is a is is an estate agent in the city of London. It's grown in KRCC. Took a loan of thirty five thousand pounds just a couple of years back, maybe two years or three, and now it's grown into a total equity of close to five million pounds. You don't take counsel from people who have not been there, don't that have the t-shirt. You take it from those who have a track record of success. He also be sharing, and I might be asking both of them questions. It's going to be a great interaction. Then I will now cap it with teaching on how to run your business, the kind of mistakes to avoid, the kind of people to put around you. Some of the trending businesses that are going to do well in these times. I pushed a lot on real estate. Pushed a lot, and suddenly I was just reading. There is such a massive buying of real estate right now in London, I guess, because of June. You see, I kept preparing people. Some people just sat down, working nine to five, just waiting for Corona to be over so they go back to their old routine. One day you retire with a pension that cannot take care of you. So you need to check matthewashimlo.com if you've never registered even if it's just this once do it try it and see oh taste and see you'll blow your mind you'll be shocked we will upload a video today on money masterclass which says don't chase money chase wealth i hope my guys are here don't chase money chase wealth make sure you watch it i shared there how money itself can become useless. If you had millions of pounds and you crash landed in Antarctica, you can't spend your money. There's no shop, no food, no restaurant, no hotel. Antarctica is a whole continent, but all ice. So your money becomes useless, even not that alone. If you show up in London with a Rwandese currency, nobody will take it from you. You go to a shop corner in London with Sierra Leonean Leon, they won't take it. So, but if you have wealth, emotional, spiritual, you need to watch the video. I'm sure you were blessed today. It's been a great joy to minister to you this morning. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Dio Tebu Benis. God bless you richly. Deus te bendiga. Deus te bensoe mucho. Nkulunkulu agubu says. Thank you very much. God bless you richly. Thank you. Kingsway International Christian Center is a church without walls. Join the KICC family online every day. Get up and glow every weekday at 6 a.m. at the Morning Glow. Dig deeper into God's Word and enrich your faith at the Global Bible Study every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And on Sundays, join us at 9 a.m. for leadership, inspiration, finance, and entrepreneurship at Life Class. The mid-morning service at 12 noon. And in the evening, be blessed at the Night of the Prophetic and the Fearless at 6 p.m. Be a part of a church without walls with KICC. Join us on social media, KICC TV, KICCTV.org.uk, or download the KICC Church app. KICC, raising champions, taking territories. King. The world is constantly changing. How can the Christian remain relevant and grounded in the truth? The King's College of Excellence offers you a virtual Bible school with a difference. Harnessing the experience and knowledge of its global faculty of teachers, including KCE founder, Pastor Matthew Oshimaloo, students from every walk of life, those called to ministry, running businesses and employed in the marketplace are empowered with timeless teaching, tools and strategies that equip them to make a lasting godly impact on their generation. Our cutting edge curriculum includes teachings on the principles of faith, new creation realities, Christian ethics in life and ministry, personal development and spiritual life coaching, family life and ministry, and much more. 
Enrich your Christian life and join a global body of students at the King's College of Excellence Virtual Bible School. For details and to register for the virtual opening evening, visit kce.kicc.org.uk. The world is constantly changing. How can the Christian remain relevant and grounded in the truth? The King's College of Excellence offers you a virtual Bible school with a difference. Harnessing the experience and knowledge of its global faculty of teachers, including KCE founder, Pastor Matthew Ishimaloo, students from every walk of life, those called to ministry, running businesses and employed in the marketplace are empowered with timeless teaching, tools and strategies that equip them to make a lasting godly impact on their generation. Our cutting edge curriculum includes teachings on the principles of faith, new creation realities, Christian ethics in life and ministry, personal development and spiritual life coaching, family life and ministry, and much more. Enrich your Christian life and join a global body of students at the King's College of Excellence Virtual Bible School. For details and to register for the virtual opening evening, visit kce.kicc.org.uk.